This is an external hard drive that I recently purchased to replace this external hard drive. Now, every three years or so, I have to buy a new external hard drive to replace my old one because these are very faulty. This, on the other hand, is almost 10 times faster and doesn't have any moving parts in it. The only problem is they don't sell these complete in package. So the beautiful thing about these hard drives, they are readily available. You can buy them online. This is a four terabyte drive. I spent a little over $100 for it, I believe. And they're great for backing up your files and keeping your personal data on it. But the problem is, with what happened with this one, all I did was accidentally drop it. This one fell out of my book bag and it was in a, you know, hard shell like this one. I took it apart to try and fix it and turns out that it was, as I feared, dead. Basically with these, they have mechanisms on the inside that swivel around and read a spinning disc, just like a floppy disk. And it's exactly the same technology as a floppy disk, if you remember those. The issue with that is they're very easy to break. This is an M.2 drive. An M.2 drive is a solid state hard drive that is actually really tiny and in most cases applies directly onto the motherboard of your computer and it produces great speeds. I mean like phenomenal speeds. In fact, this is a generation three. We're currently on generation five. A generation three M.2 drive actually generates speeds at around 3.5 gigs a second when it's installed into a motherboard that is compatible with it. So for comparison, 3.5 gigs a second might not sound that impressive for those of you who do not really know a whole lot about transfer speeds, but a brand new hard drive right here for an external use, you're looking at a maximum speed of 250 megabytes, which is roughly 12, 13 times slower than an M.2 drive from a generation three. Generation five M.2 drives can go all the way up to 10 gigs a second and they're still developing those. So you're looking at something that is 20 times faster than a standard hard drive. So I started thinking, they have to make external cases for these. And in fact, they do, and they sell them on Amazon. So this external case right here, I purchased on Amazon for $20, and I didn't feel like buying a brand new M.2 drive, so I just got an older one for testing that I had laying around. This is a generation three, like I said. It is 250 gigs, which is far less than the four terabyte that I have here, but for my testing purposes, it was actually a great way to test out how this thing works. So before I got started testing this, I ran a simple uh, benchmark test for this hard drive while it was installed on the motherboard to see if it was actually getting the speeds that the website says it would. And it was getting at around 3.2 gigs a second read and write speed of 1.5 gigs a second, which is exactly in the threshold that the company said that it should get. Then I went ahead and I installed it inside of the container. And the container that I purchased on Amazon put the speed at that drive at 1.02 gigs a second, so just at one gig a second read speed, and a little bit higher at 1.08 on the write speed. So that, that was a little bit strange to me, but at the same time, I figured that there would be a drop in speed because when you have this hard drive, installed directly on the motherboard, you don't have this bottleneck going on. So whenever you transfer data through a USB drive or a cord, there's always going to be a bottleneck. That's why the USB ports on the front of your device are always going to be slower than the ones that are built in directly to the motherboard because there is a bottleneck of data going through. It's a third of the read speed that it would be installed on the hard drive, but you know, I was okay with this because I still hadn't tested out the speed of this hard drive clocked in at a speed of 100 megabytes a second. Read and write. So it's still, this is 10 times faster than this. Benchmark testing versus actual file transfer speeds are totally different. 
So I tested out transferring over an entire series Star Trek. I know, right? It's wonderful. Which, by the way, if you'd like to learn how to rip your own videos so you can have them all on digital instead of having physical copies that you have to get up and exchange and things like that, I'm going to have a video for that coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and maybe you'll be able to see that. So transferring over files to both of these hard drives ended up with a total speed for the standard hard drive at... 94.2 megabytes a second now that's actually pretty decent it's 100 megabytes a second for you know a standard hard drive not bad considering that there was a total of 411 files those were a mixture between audio video audio and video as well as images and menus and things like that a total size of 7.7 .7 gigs transferred so it took roughly a minute and a half on a standard hard drive to transfer those files over however whenever we compare it to the m.2 hard drive that we created the generation 3 m.2 we had a transfer speed of 250 so it was over two times as fast yeah so it was over double the speed of a standard hard drive. Not only that, we had it done in around 30 seconds, maybe less than that. The transfer speed was steady. It didn't decrease because a lot of times with M2 drives, whenever you first start transferring data, it decreases drastically because of the heat sink and things like that. But for whatever reason, inside of this container, it was a steady 250 megabytes a second transfer. Now that very well could have been because of the bottleneck not being able to transfer at the full speeds that it had, but at the same time, over double the speed. So it's actually pretty awesome how fast this thing works. I hope that this video has helped you as far as looking forward as to what you might be considering as far as your backup drives in the future or heck even your standard transfer drives because this thing doesn't cost a whole lot more and performs so much better than a standard hard drive not only that you could chuck this thing against the wall and it's not going to break you barely look at these things wrong and all your files are gone it basically is a paperweight at that point Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great rest of your day. I also have videos over here that might be useful, or videos here. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're going to pop up on the screen somewhere.